This week, when the judge sentenced Bernie Madoff to 150 years in prison, <clears throat> excuse me, he called the scheme to cheat thousands out of their money as extraordinarily evil. But Christopher Markowski, the watchdog on Wall Street, warns, despite the judge's sentence, there are other Bernie Madoff wannabes out there just looking for some quick money. And uh, Christopher Markowski joins us live this morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning, Ross. How are you? Listen, I know you're not a therapist, but it makes you wonder how Bernie Madoff slept at night. Yeah, it, it does make you wonder. How does somebody get up in the morning and look at themselves in the mirror knowingly uh, stealing? And this, the, the funny thing is everybody thinks this is rich and famous. It's not. Uh, a lot of middle class people, school teachers across the board. This guy did not discriminate as far as who he would take. We, uh, we hear the FBI has something like 500 similar cases that they are investigating. Help us spot a scam. First and foremost, this is probably the best rule that advice I can give everybody out there. Everything in life that has meaning, value, and worth involves work, time, and effort. If any of those variables are missing, it's probably a scam. You know, you have to understand that the market's going to show you an X amount of return. If you've got some guy promising you doubles and triples and guaranteed stock market link results and I can do this, you have to run. This stuff is just not possible. But a lot of these people were working through a financial advisor. Uh, they probably weren't paying a lot of attention, uh, except to see that they were doing fairly well in a bad market and all. Um, one, of, one of the points that I, when reading about you, you suggest also is make sure your account is with a third party. Do not let the, yeah. the, the name of your financial advisor be on the statement you get every month. Yeah, our, our celebrating the July 4th, our Constitution is a wonderful, wonderful document that has checks and balances in it, and you need to have the same thing when it comes to your finances. You don't want a financial advisor who's also running and clearing his own trades and had his, his own brokerage firm and, and all these inner workings. I had my hand on some uh, Bernie Madoff statements a couple years ago. The funny thing is you looked at these things and it looked like a scam from the get-go. You couldn't make heads or tails out of them. They were done on those old-fashioned dot matrix printers, those things that went back and forth. So there was a a lot of signs there but once again people want to believe once they put their money with this they want to believe that this guy is capable of doing what he's doing he almost built up this cult of personality around himself there was a story in the paper this morning talking about uh, an SEC lawyer in 2004 actually warned her superiors that there were some problems with the Bernie yeah. Madoff company and they directed her in a, in a different way. They said, no, we're worried about something else. Uh, and, then, and, and, then, and, and then you think about this Harry Markowski or Markopoulos, who for five Markopoulos, years yes. tried to convince the SEC there was something wrong. Well, the funny thing is you've got to understand that the SEC is a political organization. It's a part of the executive branch. Now, Bernie Madoff handled the accounts of guys like Chuck Schumer, uh, like Frank Lautenberg, was heavily involved in a lot of charities and donated to a lot of politicians. Now, when the SEC comes knocking on your door and he makes a phone call to some of his buddies within Washington, D.C., they make a call back and say, hey, he's a good guy, lay off him. That happens all the time. Yeah, well, it sounds old, but it's the old um, adage, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Thank you, Absolutely Christopher. Absolutely right. Enjoy your holiday. You're welcome.